हेलो फ्रेंड नमस्ते दोस्तों हाय गाइस टुडेस वीडियो इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द स्पेशल वीडियो ऑफ आवर वेडिंग सीरीज वेयर द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी डिड लास्ट वीक वेयर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द प्लानिंग इफ यू हैवंट वॉच दैट वीडियो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दैट वीडियो बिफोर दिस वन अदरवाइज दिस वीडियो विल नॉट मेक मोर सेंस टू यू द लिंक इज राइट इन द कॉर्नर देयर सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दैट फर्स्ट नाउ टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द एक्चुअल the legal wedding of ours the civil wedding the court wedding or the council wedding whatever you want to call it as we mentioned in the in the previous video where we covered all the planning and we ended saying that the planning was done and we were then just waiting for the day and we had nearly 3 months from everything was done to the day we were going to get married and we were just waiting so finally the day arrived obviously we had a few things little things to do like for example choose our dresses she has to buy a dress i had to buy a suit but those were like quite small things other things were quite um, the big things were done and then we were just waiting and finally the day arrived and that day it, it was a little bit more calm not as hectic yeah. and chaotic as you see in many films or yeah. bollywood movies yes. or even hollywood movies yeah so we still were all busy with stuff mm -hmm. like Uh, Anu was standing in the hallway, and I am his suit. <laughs> I am my dress. Yeah. I was running to the florist to get my flower bouquet, which was massive. Oh yeah. And when I came home, my mum had to reorganize it mm -hmm. because I couldn't carry it. It was like you had to carry it like this if you want. So she made a really beautiful yeah. handheld small bouquet for yes. me. My brother was sitting in the living room. Uh, we decided to have the dinner at our place, mm -hmm. and we wanted to have something special. So I took out my old uh, silver cutlery I got from my grandma. Yeah. So my brother was sitting in the uh, living room cleaning this and trying to get rid of the patina which was over it. <laughs> so uh, my father was busy with uh, getting the table organized. So we were all busy. Yeah. Luckily our actual wedding time was in the early afternoon. Yeah. So we got got everything done without getting completely hectic. Mm -hmm. Around lunch time we started all to get dressed, get ready. I got my hair done with the help of my mum. Yeah. And then we slowly made our way to the register office. Yeah. So we all went in the car of my mm -hmm. parents because at that time we didn't have a car. Yeah. So we were standing in front of the register office slowly the guests came mm -hmm. my witness came and we were standing there looking at the clock and um, is someone missing <laughs> so one of the most important person besides the groom and the bride was missing and that was his friend his witness we already told him to come half an hour earlier and we were still he was still not really there on time yeah this guy has a track record of never ever being on time since i know him he has be never been on time anywhere no matter where we have to go and that's the reason we decided to to give him half an hour earlier to arrive but he still arrived right 5 minutes before and we were really really nervous in fact before uh, they call us the registrar uh, ask us Uh, call us and then have a chat with us. Make sure everything is correct. And they asked us, "Do you have your witnesses?" And we said, "Yes, one of them is there. Second one is uh, mm, on the way. On the way. So you sure? So yes, definitely, he's on the way for sure. He's coming." They, they said, "I said okay." And then, just before we were waiting to be called, he arrived, and we both had a sigh of relief, like, oh, "Thank God!" And I was like, "What the hell?" And he was like, "Sorry, got stuck in traffic." I said, oh, "Really?" <laughs> So yeah, then we got called to the register. Our guest went into the wedding hall. Mm -hmm. We had to finalize some final stuff, making sure that everything is correct in the ceremony. They also asked, "Are you sure you don't want to do the kissing part?" Because there is one section where the register said, "And now you may kiss the bride." And I'm, no, no, we skip this. We, we skip this. He didn't want to kiss me in front of people. <laughs> so then the register went into the wedding hall pronounces us here comes the groom and bride everyone gets up okay yeah, and, and looking at us and Esther didn't like that at all she doesn't like that attention at all and and I was like it's okay calm down it's right just a, just a few minutes <laughs> and it was literally a few minutes just walking down the aisle really and then uh, the whole process started <laughs> yes um, 
that is really funny. The whole process is actually the register says the first row, you repeat it, mm -hmm. then says the second row, you repeat that. And since we didn't have anything else, you were married in two minutes and that's it. Yes. And my brother jokes about this. <laughs> exactly. That was just like two minute Maggie noodles. Two minute instant noodles. <laughs> you have Maggie in two minutes, you get married in two minutes. <laughs> Really like that. And I find it so interesting slash weird because coming from India, our weddings are long. Overnight mm -hmm. or at least few hours. And hey, you just get married in two bloody minutes. <laughs> so super quick. And it's the fastest change can ever come in one's life. Mm -hmm. Just two minutes before, you were not married, single, now you're married. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> no time to thinking. No time to nope. thinking at all. Nope. If you make a decision, you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, and then um, we then had time to take pictures, yeah. so they have a register book and a beautiful certificate which yes. we had to sign. Yeah. So my brother was standing there taking pictures mm -hmm. because he is a professional photographer, yeah. so it was really good for us. Mm -hmm. We had a really fancy quill to sign <laughs> the stuff, so like you see in Harry Potter yes. actually. So we pretended to sign so that Tinos could take lots of pictures. Mm -hmm. Um, he took pictures with my parents, the witnesses, our friends. Then we slowly had to uh, proceed out of the hall because the next couple was already yes. waiting. And he said, it's almost like in a factory. One couple goes in, one couple yeah. goes out. It's, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> it's like wedding factory, literally. One couple goes in, 20 minutes later, they're married, popped out next. Next one in, done, next. So it's, it's really like a factory. Mm. But this is the way it is really, really quick. And, and then what we did, we just basically uh, walked out and uh, we were not allowed to uh, have the uh, photography done uh, or pictures clicked in the front of the hall because the next guests were there. Mm -hmm. So we were, so, but there's a little uh, photographic area where they basically you can Google at pictures. Mm -hmm. And what Esther's mom did, she provided everybody confetti. Mm -hmm. Now, to the people who do not know confetti, confetti is basically a little uh, colored paper, but it's a special paper, quite light. Yes. And, and it, it, when it falls, when it falls in the air, yeah, it, it, it behaves like, looks like petals, flower mm. petals, and looks really beautiful. Yeah. And there's a trend in Europe, or tradition, tradition in Europe, yeah. in Europe to uh, to throw confetti on, uh, on bride and groom, yes. freshly bride and groom. As I told me, in Germany, they have a tradition of throwing rice. Yes, in the past it was rice. Yes. Yeah. But now it's all confetti, so yeah. everybody was uh, throwing confetti at us. Mm. And, and getting picture clicked, um, having laugh, everybody yeah. had a picture with us. And then slowly uh, we made the move to, uh, to the a different venue. Different venue. So my mom found this really beautiful mm -hmm. harborside oh, restaurant, yes. which is close to the canal in Reading, which is a really beautiful area. Mm -hmm. So she contacted them before and asked, can we have a hall there? And they mm -hmm. said, yeah, we have a separate hall. You're completely private. No one will bother you. And my mom then asked, can I bring the cake? Yeah. Because she had already something in her mind she wanted to do for us. Yes. And they said, yeah, that's no problem. We give you the drinks, hot, cold. Just come and it's fine. Mm -hmm. So we went there. It, the hall is like a converted barn. looks really yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. The table was decorated yes. beautiful with the cupcakes my mum made for mm -hmm. us and a big bottle of champagne. <laughs> yes, yes. We had a like five liter bottle of champagne this big, really heavy. And when I opened it, the cork went right up in the air. Thankfully, we were in a hall and, and the ceiling was really high. So it didn't hit anyone, it didn't hit anything. But uh, it was really, really big and, and really interesting to see. But the champagne was absolutely delicious. Mm, yes. and, then, and then everybody just had the champagne, the drinks, um, whatever they wanted, beer, tree, tea, coffee, whiskey, whatever everybody wanted, mm -hmm. had some good time, cakes, had chats, laughs. We spent a few hours there. Yes. And then, and also slow. outside because we had beautiful sunshine yes. Yes. and with the riverside is really nice there. Yeah, and then in the early evening we slowly started to progress to uh, my place where yes. I lived. Yes. Um, because we decided to have the dinner not in another venue, we mm -hmm. wanted to have it at home, a little bit more private. Yes. And also we did something special with our menu yes. because we split the menu. Yes. I did the starter, which was a tomato soup, and then Anu did the main. So I did dal makhni and shai paneer, which was turned out really delicious. Everybody absolutely loved it. 
Um, we had bread or, or chapati naan. We got delivered that from a restaurant or a hotel. And Anastas mum did the dessert. Yes, which is uh, rote Grütze mit Vanillesoße. For other people who don't speak German, that is a berry dish with vanilla custard. Yes. So you have the sour and sweetness, which goes really well together. And also what my mum did is she made the bag for everyone who yes. was our guest yes. with a, uh, little things in there to r remind them of the day. Yeah, also some sparklers, mm -hmm. so to have a little bit of a firework. So mm -hmm. we lightened the sparklers and we all had fun, enjoyed the food, enjoyed uh, the company, mm -hmm. laughed, had just a really good time. Exactly. And everybody loved it. Uh, people enjoyed the food. Everybody loved their company, each other's company. Mm. Um, we just had another good evening laughing. Everybody enjoyed more talk, just um, had enjoyed the food. And then slowly people start making a move around 9 o'clock because all our guests were from away. Some were from London, some were from Bristol, some were from some other cities. And all these places were like hour, hour and a half driving from Reading. So people then start making a move. And then when everybody left, we were just family, mm. just spent some time together, had had nice uh, evening for the more, have some more drinks, have some nice more food, whatever we wanted, and just chat and laugh mm -hmm. before uh, we call it night. And, yes. and it was and a really nice exactly. day, a really beautiful memory, which we'll yes. not forget for the rest of our life. Exactly. The only sad part was on the whole day that Anu's family was not be able to be mm -hmm. there, but that was something which we couldn't change. Yeah. And also we knew that a few months down the line was the actual big Indian, Indian wedding, wedding exactly. so we would see them then there. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just had a really good time. Yeah, it was brilliant. And I think we 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 really believe that uh, it was a very good move on our part to decide to have a council wedding in the UK because the experience we had here in the UK, we would have never ever had that in India or anywhere else because we would have had it differently. In India, uh, you register your uh, religious wedding so it's all different in India than here so it gave us the opportunity to have this unique experience which we yes. are able to now share with you plus yes. we were able to uh, spend the day with our close friends and family here yes. the friends who were not any, were able to come to India in our religious wedding so yes. it all and, and also it made it because we are inter uh, cultural couples yes. so we had also the western wedding yes, exactly. so that is just to make the whole thing complete exactly 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 we had a western wedding and an indian wedding so both boxes ticked as well exactly. and and we had a great fun and everything went as per we planned it was such a good event we have really great memories with it and we're really glad to share this with you today so yeah so hopefully guys you enjoyed our video do tell us by comment below if you have anything for us to cover or how you found it. But don't forget to like and subscribe. But for today, signing off. Bye.